Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Avalanche or AVAX coin using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the AVAX coin that you are mining here in 2025, allowing you to build your holdings faster. And before we dive into the tutorial, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see here, crypto is looking really good. We're up across the board about 9.22% to a total market cap of $3.1 trillion. Scrolling down a little bit here, you can see that this is pretty much the case across all of the coins on the day market, with a few of them actually being up on the week, which is pretty rare here, seeing as it's been a rough few days in crypto. Uh, but XRP is up about 10% this week. Solana is about 5 almost 6%. Cardano's here, over 41% up. Uh, HBAR, 30%. Uh, Stellar, XLM, 6%. You know, we're looking really good. But that gets us down here to Avalanche AVAX coin, which is up almost 12% today to a total price of $24.40. And that's only 0.35% down this week. Scrolling up here just real quick, you can see that like Bitcoin, 3.2% down. Ethereum, over almost 12% down. So, you know, seeing that this is red, but only by a third of a percent is really, really good. So how do we start mining this coin? Well, we're actually using a site here called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with Unminable, uh, basically what it is is it's a site that does what the name says. It allows you to mine coins that are unminable, whether it be that they require really, really powerful hardware such as Bitcoin or Litecoin or coins that are just straight up not a mineable coin. Maybe they're POS, maybe they were an airdrop, maybe they just, you know, they're, they're not a proof of work coin. And the way they do that is they allow you to pick an algorithm that's profitable for your computer, which if you don't know what that is, I'd recommend going out to whattomine.com. They've got tons of GPU options. Enter in the hardware that you're going to be using to mine with, and it'll tell you the best and most profitable uh, algorithm to use here on the site. So once you do that, um, come over here to Unminable. Now the link's in the description below. If you use that link down below, you're actually gonna save 25% on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about here in just a minute, um, or you can navigate to unminable.com. What you're then gonna do is come down here to the get started with our guided setup button, and you've got two options, basic and advanced. I always recommend basic because really it's good enough for 99% of people, but they do have advanced here if you want to specify some more specific settings. Um, I'm going to be going down the GPU mining route here today, but if you are following along and want to mine with your Windows-based CPU or you're following along on a Mac OS-based computer, choose that CPU option. But today we're going GPU. Now I'm gonna be going the Kapow algorithm route, but again, please choose what's best for you according to what to mine. And I do always recommend just kind of checking that site out, even if you are familiar with mining, just because so much changes in crypto so fast that what was profitable yesterday might not be profitable today, um, or there may just be a better option out there. And then this is where you'll choose the coin you wanna get paid out in, which of course is Avalanche. All of these other coins do work the same way, but you'll just want to enter in the correct wallet address, which brings us to this step here. At this point, you can go ahead and paste that in. Uh, make sure it is compatible. Uh, as you can see, I get this nice uh, little you know pop up here, but just make sure that this pasted it in correctly because even if it does pop up and say it's compatible, if the address is wrong, you will not get your payment. So please keep that in mind. And then you can go ahead and say next. And the final step here is the referral code. Now, if you click the link in the description below, you'll notice that my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated here into this box. That's going to get you a 25% discount here on Unminable. 
So essentially with Unminable, you have a 1% pool fee. And basically that means if you mine 100 AVAX coin, whether you do it in a day or a year, you're well, first off, pretty happy, but you're giving one of those coins to Unminable. Doesn't matter how quickly you do it, doesn't matter how much power you have, doesn't matter the price of the coin. But by using this code, you reduce that fee down to 0.75%, meaning you get to keep an additional 0.25 for every 100 coins that you would have otherwise just given to Unminable. So it's allowing you to build your holdings faster while you continue mining. So again, that code is Bitcoin-Tips with a capital B, capital T, if you didn't click the link in the description, or if you use that link, it will auto-populate. So feel free to use that or continue without it and pay that higher fee. Now, we are at the final step where you download the miner and get started. So as you can see, there's a couple different options. Now, I always personally recommend G-Miner as it's the one that I personally use and it's worked out really well for me in the past. Um, now there's a ton of other options, not to say that any of them are bad, but this is just the one that I like to recommend. What you'll do is go ahead and select download minor files. This will bring you over to the GitHub where all you have to do is select this Windows 64 zip file. This will download to your computer, make sure you extract it. If you miss the extraction step, this will not work and you'll get an error right away when you go to start the CMD window, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So if that's something that's happening to you, make sure you didn't miss that extraction step. Once you've got that downloaded and extracted, you'll come back over here to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file button. Um, and as you can see, Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, this appears to be unverified. Are you sure you want to download this? You will have to click that warning and say download unverified file if you want to continue mining. Now, if this is something you're not comfortable doing, that is completely fine. But unfortunately, there is no workaround for this. So you'll have to you know, maybe look into something like a crypto faucet or other investment opportunities in cryptocurrency. So if you're okay with that, go ahead and select that download button. And then all you have to do is drag this uh, .bat file button into the larger folder that you just extracted. So as you can see, I have my unminable AVAX Kapow gminer.bat file. At this point, you are ready to get started mining and all you have to do is double click this .bat file. Now you will notice here that there is another Windows protected your PC pop-up. You will have to say more info and run anyway. Again, unfortunately there is no workaround for this, but the good news is you only get this warning the very first time you use this file. So if you're not comfortable doing this, go ahead and say don't run. Um, again, unfortunately no workaround, but if you are okay with that, go ahead and say run anyway. And just like that, in less than eight minutes, we're coming up on eight minutes here on the recording, including a little bit of coin market cap analysis, we are up and running mining AVAX coin using my RTX 3070 and the Kapow algorithm. So it is really that simple to where if you had everything ready to go, you could set up these files in less than five minutes. So just a few final things that I like to mention here about mining with Unminable. Once you get to this point, as you can see, there's some green, yellow, blue text. No red text basically means there's no errors. If you see something similar to this and it runs for a while um, and you're still not seeing any stats on the website, I'd recommend checking your address. Make sure you got it pasted in correctly both on the website and when you set up the file. If that's incorrect, you won't see the proper reporting. Um, and it does take a little while um, to reach the minimum payment in most cases with the coins here. So you won't see payments until you reach that minimum threshold, which is different for every coin. So please keep that in mind as well. And when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and hit that red X. Now you may be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? That should hopefully be the easiest part of this whole process. Well, with Unminable, when you stop that miner using that X just like I did, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments into your on-site balance for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. So I have seen the question in the past of, hey, I've stopped this miner, but I'm still getting paid. Is it mining in the background? As long as that CMD window is closed out, you can rest assured that you are no longer mining um, and those payments will eventually stop. But hey, I wouldn't complain too much because you are still getting payments and you're not even having to mine. 
So again, if you run into any issues throughout this entire process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're getting any specific errors. That way I can best help and troubleshoot to get you up and running. And if you liked this video, consider hitting that like button. It really does help us out here on YouTube and allow us to provide these videos for free. So it really does help. Um, again, if you're looking to support further, you could also consider subscribing. And we do also have channel memberships and super thanks down below, which of course, any support in that area is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video.